Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today, I'm going to walk you through taking some data that I got that looks like this. It's a big mess. We're going to split it up into individual fields, and then we're going to make sure that these convert over to proper dates so we can make a nice little pretty chart that looks like that. All right. So normally these are Q and A type videos where I get a, a, a question from a user, but today the user's me because I got an email. I got my, my regular water and sewer bill in from the city of Cape Coral. And they were saying that I used like 19,000 gallons of water last month. And usually my bill is for like, you know, four or 5,000. So something's up, but that's besides the point. Um, I wanted to download my, my usage from their website, which they offer, so I can look at the, the past several months and compare. And um, so I did. And they give you a CSV file, a comma-separated volume file, and it looks like this, and it's a mess. And it's not even sorted. I mean, look at this, 24, 25. It's not even sorted by the first. So anyways, what I want to do is I'm going to show you how to take this data, bring it over into Excel, split it up. So we got three nice columns here, right? We got the start date, the end date, and then the gallons in there. And then we can make some sense of it and we can actually sort it and we can plot it as a you know proper line graph. So this one's for the beginners. There's not a whole lot of fancy formulas or functions or any programming in this. I'm just gonna show you how to walk through this. But of course, as a little background, if you haven't watched my Excel beginner level one class, go watch this. It's about an hour long, it's absolutely free, teaches you all the basics. All right, so to make sense of this, I'm gonna copy all this data, just control A, control C, that'll copy it to your clipboard, come over to Excel and just paste it in. Now, when you paste it in, it comes into one column like that. See, that's all one column. So we're gonna use text to columns to split this guy up. So I'm gonna go to data and then text to columns. It brings up the wizard. All right, is it delimited or fixed with? Well, it's delimited. Next, delimited means that there's a character that, that separates the columns. Now, comma for sure, and notice it separated that guy out down there, right? But also, we can use that dash to separate the start date from the end date. So also go to other, and then in here, put a dash. And look at that, it separates those out as well. So now we got three distinct columns in here, right? Next, now here's where you can set the data. All right, now their format is month, day, year, which is typical for the United States. So make sure you pick date, and then here you're gonna go month, day, year. Same thing over here with this guy, date, month, day, year, okay? This one here is just a, nor a number, so the general is fine, and this really isn't anything over here, but there's a comma there, so it's gonna treat it like there's another column over here, so but don't worry about that, okay? All right, and then we'll hit next. Oh. We'll hit finish. Next is grayed out. Hit finish. And there we go. Now, we got to do some adjusting in here, obviously. All right. I'm going to put in here this instead of billing period, this is the start, this is the end, and this is the gallons over here. Okay. Then we're going to select all three of these, and we're going to double click on one of those that'll resize those columns. Maybe make them a little bit bigger. There we go. I personally like everything left aligned. That's just me. That's my personal preference. Okay, and now that these are actual dates, we can properly sort the data. I'm gonna zoom out just a touch so we can see it all. Yep, there it is. Let me zoom back in. Let's see here. Now I like it like that. All right, so I am going to select all of this data and I'm going to hit the A to Z and that'll sort it. And Excel now is smart enough to know that those are headers there. Okay, older versions you used to have to not sort those columns in all right but now you can see everybody's sorted properly i can zoom back in now there we go and here you can clearly see there's the anomaly right there yes it was a little bit high last year around the same time but nowhere near as it is now i mean this is crazy and if you want to see how crazy it is just again select all of your data I'm gonna to go to insert, and then we're gonna insert a chart. I like line charts, so I'm gonna pick the line chart. Let's just go with this simple one here. All right, there we go. All right, and then you can see right there. Now we don't really need 
all of that data in there. In fact, now that I've got it in here, I almost kind of don't want that end. We don't really don't need that end date. It's kind of superfluous, right? It's the same as that. So we're just going to delete that end date. Bing. That looks a lot better. And there you go. And now I can see. See, and the funny thing about this is this month, all right, today is what? I'm recording this on uh, June 18th. So this month is almost over. If this is accurate, that means I'm right roughly back down to where I started from. And yes, I've checked for leaks and all that stuff, but I just want to see, you know, what caused that spike last month. But there you go. It's pretty easy to do. Just bring it in, use your text to columns, and then make sure you got the right date format. Notice how it switched it over to the ISO date standard for me. Ah, right. So once you identify that as a proper date value and Excel stores it internally as a date, which is a number, right? Then you can display it in whatever format you want and Excel will show it in by default, the Windows default date format, which I have as the ISO date format, which is year, month, day. And I am on a mission to get the entire world to use this as the date standard. Go watch this video for more information and to hear me complain about it. And if you wanna learn more about that text to columns feature that I used a few minutes ago, go watch this video. It's got some great stuff. You'll find links to both of those videos down below. And of course, once again, don't forget to check out my Excel Beginner One class. And of course, now that you've got the data into Excel, it's very easy if you wanna import that into a Microsoft Access database. Yes, I'll be completely honest. Most of what I teach is Microsoft Access, but even I will drop small bits of data into Excel to massage it, to get it into a proper format, then I'll import it into Access. I mean, unless we're talking about thousands of, of records, you know, then I'll just import it raw into Access and we'll figure it out with queries there. But if it's a tiny bit of data like this, Excel is perfect for that job, okay? Remember, use the right tool for the right job. Sometimes it's Excel, sometimes it's Access. Sometimes you can just get along with Notepad, right? <laughs> Which is, which is what I thought I was going to be dealing with. I thought I'd just download it in Notepad and look at it and be like, and then I was like, wait a minute. No, it's not even sorted. Come on. I can't make heads or tails of this. So I figure I might as well show you guys how to do it too, right? But that's going to do it, folks. That is your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. I'm excited to announce that I'm creating a brand new series of lessons focused on programming in Microsoft Excel VBA. If you've been looking to take your Excel skills to the next level and learn how to automate tasks, write custom macros, and unleash the full power of Excel VBA, these lessons are for you. Sign up now on my website at the link shown. You'll find a copy in the description down below the video window, and I'll send you more information on this exciting new series. If you'd like to see me make more Excel tech help videos, post a comment down below and say, I want more Excel. The vast majority of my videos are from Microsoft Access, the database program, because that's been my forte for the past three decades or so. However, I love Excel and I'm more than happy to make more videos for Excel and Word and PowerPoint and all the other topics that I teach. As you know, the squeaky wheel gets the grease, so make your voice heard and let me know you want more Excel videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you have down below. I do my best to read them all as soon as I can. And also, be sure to share this video with that person in the office that always asks you Excel questions. Or, you know, that family member, mom, when she calls you and says, hey, I can't do this. Well, send her a copy of one of my videos. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Just click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when I post new videos. If you'd like to become a member of my channel, click the join button down below and you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos and one free beginner lesson every month. Gold members get access to download all the sample spreadsheets that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use and a free expert level Excel course once a month after finishing the beginner lessons. And platinum members get access to all of the previous perks plus all of my full beginner courses and one new developer course every month after finishing the expert levels. If you're watching this video on YouTube and you're looking for the links, click where it says show more down below the video window. YouTube actually does a pretty good job of hiding this thing. You'll see a list of other related videos, other information on the current topic, free lessons, and lots more.
YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when I post new videos. So if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Excel level one course, check it out now. It's absolutely free. It's over 90 minutes long and it covers all the basics of Microsoft Excel. And like I said before, even if you don't need it, I'm sure you know someone that does. That person that always is asking you Excel questions, well, send them this link. And if you like level one, level two is just a dollar and it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. And if you like those, come to my website and I've got tons more lessons for all levels. I cover everything from the basics all the way up to advanced functions and more. And while you're on my website, stop by the Excel forum, post any questions you have and join in the conversation. As always, thanks for learning with ExcelLearningZone.com. I'm Richard Rost. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time.